your point, Coach, about uh, you teaching better, I mean, that's a lot that uh, speaks to you to kind of take that onus on yourself. But do you feel the players are responding as you like? Oh, yeah. um, and they're capable of kind of running the scheme? Absolutely. I mean, our guys are all in. And um, we, you know, that, that team that we just played is a really, really good offense. And all you had to do is take a look at their first game and who they played uh, and the defense that they were playing against in that first game. And so and I know the defense that we had last year when we played them, um, you know, in our first game last year, how we played against them. We didn't have our, our best stuff. We didn't look like the same team that we looked like at the end of the year when we were the number one defense in the NFL. And so I felt like there were a lot of really good things in the game. Uh, make, specifically, we held them to a really low point total. That team traditionally scores well into the 30s. Uh, and we're, you know, you hold them to 20, really 17. Uh, and so I felt like that was really outstanding. We were able to put a roof over the coverage. Hey, Coach, you talked previously about how good number 10 is, and we've all seen that. But how difficult is it to kind of implement the running game and get a good running game going on continuously, um, knowing how good what you can do with number 10 in the backfield? Yeah, I think it's, that's a great point, Cam. Um, and I think that you got to go into each game, and, and, and you can't play every game the way you want to play it you got to go into every game the way you need to play it, and that's different. Um, and I think when you have Justin, uh, you have a real luxury uh, because there's so much that he's capable of. But I think when you go into each game plan, um, what may be best for Justin may not be what best for the team You know, overall, depending on where we're at in the other two phases. Uh, what I think that the running game does for a quarterback um, is it gives you some breathers. and um, you know, you don't need a good running game to be a good play action team, but what you need the running game for is the physical element of the game. There's a physicality to the game that's real, right? If you're just a passing team, okay, there's a physical element to the game that the defense doesn't have to respect, okay? And that's the truth, okay? Because the data will tell you, you don't need a run game to play pass. That's not, you don't need that. But what the running game does for you, it brings a physical dimension to the football game. And what the running game does that the passing game does not is the running game forces the defense to play blocks and to tackle. That happens on a run play. You must play blocks and you must tackle. In the passing game, those things don't have to happen, right? You don't have to play as many blocks, right? And you don't, may not have to tackle based on incomplete or not. So what the running game does is it really challenges your physicality. And that's why I think the run game is important to a quarterback is because it's going to allow him literally to have more space to operate when you do throw the football. Okay, It's not that you need the run game to throw it. It's just what it gives the rest of your skill players. And you know, there's the truth of the run game from point A to point B. That is a quick way to gain yards, right? It's from point A to point B. It's a direct line. Right, to turn your back and, and hand the ball off or from the shotgun. It's a more direct line. Um, but I think with Justin, the great thing that you also have in the run game is you have a dual threat. You have a dual threat from the shotgun. You have a dual threat from under center, a guy that can you know, truly make you believe what's happening in the run game. And that's what I think we've been able to do a good job of through two games is really make our runs look like passes, um, both in the shotgun and under center. And we're going to try to continue to make that a big uh, part of our game moving forward. Oh! <laughs>